Okay, so hey guys, so today I wanted to share with you what my nighttime skincare routine is. Um, I did record this in the past, but I have um, added a couple things to my nighttime skincare that I wanted to share with you. <coughs> I never posted that because I have recently incorporated uh, serums and oils into my nighttime skincare, so I wanted to share with you what I actually use. So as you guys know, my um, skincare that I use is Lush, and I will share with you what I do um, for that. But I wanted to share with you first what I use to take my makeup off. So as you guys know, I absolutely love these. I went through probably five packs of these, and I use these so much to take my makeup off. I just feel like they're so amazing to take your makeup off. This is the these are the Neutrogena Makeup Remover Cleansing Towelettes. These are just the regular ones. It says these are the Ultra Soft Cloths Patent, patent Formula. Dissolves all traces of makeup, even waterproof mascara. And it even removes liquid lipsticks. I'm telling you, this stuff is amazing. So I'm just going to share this with you now. And then I'm going to record the rest later. Because I'm just taking my makeup off right now to relax. Because... Um, it's like 8 o'clock at night and I don't need to wear my makeup anymore so I'm just going to rip it off. So yeah, I start with my cheeks first and I just rub it around this area first. I just want to show you like the difference between like what your face looks like with makeup and without makeup on each side. Do you see like how red my face is? So I start with that, then I go around to the chin area and just wipe that off. And I always make sure I get like this part and my jawline. Because I do contour that down there. And then I move on to the other cheek. I always feel like I have to take off my makeup on my cheeks first. I always take my skin makeup off first because it just feels so much better when like your foundation is off first, you know. I'm going to take that off first. I'm going to go under the nose. This is always the hardest area because you try not to scrub your lipstick onto this area too. And then I move up to the nose. Always make sure you get the corners of your nose as well. Then I move up to the forehead. I just lightly rub. I'm not like pushing down too hard. I'm literally just rubbing a little bit. But I don't like really press when I'm rubbing. I just like move my hand around. But I'm not pressing. I'm not putting any pressure down. It's very um, important that you don't rub your face. I'm just like dragging it around my face. I'm not pushing it in. So make sure you don't rub your face. Like don't like tug on your makeup. Just make sure you're like smoothing it around. Okay, let's see how good I did without using a mirror because sometimes it's hard to tell. Okay, so I think I did a pretty good job. So now I'm going to move on to my eyes. I always like move around my makeup wipe to make sure I'm using like a clean part of it. So I'm not like scrubbing excess makeup onto my face. So I start by just rubbing my eye this way. And I'm not rubbing it. I'm just rubbing away from it. And then I make sure I'm taking off. And then I just move it back and forth. But again, I'm not really tugging. I'm just moving my finger back and forth. I'm not adding any added pressure. So make sure you... And I just use like one finger like back and forth to make sure I'm taking off my eyeliner. Because that's always the most annoying part to take off, obviously. Okay. 
Okay, so I pretty much have that off already. I really love these because they're so wet that I feel like it just takes off a lot. And since I have dry skin, I feel like just the hydration feels really good. So I got that off, and then I'm just going to also take off my other eye. God, this has been five minutes of me taking off my makeup already. Okay, let's use my other hand. I'm not sure if I'm going to use my Lush mask tonight or my Sephora mask. I think I just might do the Lush one because my skin looks a lot better than it has been. It was breaking out a lot the past couple of days, but now it looks better. Just have to make sure I get all of this off. Okay, I think that's pretty good for that eye. And now we're just going to take off the lip. And I just go in right with the makeup wipe with that and take it off. Okay, so I think that is pretty good. So that's what I look like without my makeup on. I think you guys have seen that before. Then after I have all of my makeup removed, then I go into the bathroom and then, I mean I do all this in the bathroom, but I just go into the bathroom and just rinse my face with a little bit of cold water just to um, make sure my eyes aren't irritated from this. They can, it can get a little bit irritating, but honestly, it's actually not irritating me at all now. Um, sometimes it is a little bit irritating, but usually not. And then I will show you what I do for my skincare a little later because, um, sorry that my skin looks a little bit dull right now. Um, I don't know why. I think it's just the lighting. Um, but I'm going to do it after I shower because I don't want to tone or anything like that until after I use water on my face and I'm not going to tone and then tone again after I shower. So I will show you what I do later and I'm going to go sit on my butt now and watch some How I Met Your Mother. So yeah, I will share with you my skin routine soon. Okay, so now I wanted to show you the rest of my nighttime skincare routine. I did not realize that I didn't plug in my computer when I was watching How I Met Your Mother. And now it's like on really low battery, so let's plug that in. So first I'm going to pull my hair back, and I'm going to show you the steps that I do in my face care. First, um, obviously that's what this video is about. But I'm also going to touch on some hair care um, routine and also some body routine as well. So first I'm going to touch on what cleanser that I use. I don't normally cleanse at night. Um, I know most people do, um, but I really like cleansing in the morning. I just feel so gross in the morning when I wake up that I feel like I have to wash my face in order for me to wake up. So my nighttime and my daytime skincare doesn't vary too much. I incorporate obviously more things at night than I do during the day. When I cleanse and do my routine in the morning, I only do face wash, 
toner and moisturizer, which is basically what a lot of people do in the morning as well. I don't really have time to spend on a serum or a face oil in the morning, so I just do those three steps, and I think it helps me. I also go in with a very, I go in with very um, nourishing primers. I always try to go in with primers that aren't drying. So I, I've been using these, I always use the Smashbox Primer Water and then I also use the Nourishing Primer. So if you guys want to see like a full daytime skincare routine, just let me know. But it's basically what I'm mentioning right now. I just felt like my nighttime routine is more in depth, in depth so I felt like just sharing that. So anyway... The first thing that I do in the morning, I'm basically just going to go through the steps in the morning, but what I use in the morning is the Angels on Bare Skin Face and Body Cleanser. This is just the cleanser that I use. I only use a face cleanser at night if I feel like my skin really, really needs it. I'm honestly so excited to do my skincare right now because it just like, if your skin feels so good after and it just feels like it looks better too. Um, but yeah, this is what I use in the morning and I've used up a lot of it already it's pretty much almost empty so that's how much I have left I did just pick up a backup a couple of days ago you guys know this is my favorite facial cleanser so I don't really have to go too much in depth with it but yeah I do use this just in the morning um I feel like I should wash my face more at night um like maybe once or twice a week but I always do a face mask once or twice a week so I've learned from the girls at Lush, they say that if you use a face mask at night, you don't have to wash your face. So that's pretty much me washing my face at night is using a face mask and then washing it off because that's what they've told me. So yeah, so that's what I use for that. Then, of course, the second step is toning because after you use any type of water on your face, you're supposed to balance the pH in your skin um when after you wash your face so my toner of choice and basically you guys probably already know this this is the EO Roma water toner water from Lush as you guys know all of my skincare is Lush I recently switched over to Lush a few months ago and I've noticed such a difference in my skin especially when I use this I feel like this is like crack in a bottle it stops so many of your breakouts from forming or if you do break out your breakouts only last about like two days and then it goes away like my skin feels so dry basically like all the time unless I do my skincare I feel like this this is like so low like I feel like there's barely anything in here I'm probably gonna have to pick up one in a few days when I have a little bit more money I did go back to Lush and pick up a couple more things today and I picked up the face wash and a new serum there as well so now I'm gonna have to pick up a new toner as well really really soon because I feel like this is almost done I feel like I have to get the big one I'm I always purchase this size this is a smaller size and it's like nine dollars so I feel like it's so in it's inexpensive that I just get this one so this is a spray so you just I'm going to just spritz this all over my face Okay, um, it has a really beautiful scent. It, this has a gentle rose and lavender tonic for everyday use that helps hydrate dry, sensitive, or mature skin without causing it to overreact. Soft, comfortable skin is only a spritz away, EOMI. So yeah, I love this. I never really usually toned before, before I got the EOROMA water. And now it's like one of my favorite steps. I just feel like that does so much for you. So the next thing that I'm going to go in with is my serum. This is the Full Grace Facial Serum from Lush. I'm just going to be describing what I do while I'm doing it because I tend to do this really fast so everything can soak in together. So what I do with this is I scrape it on my face like this as the toner is um, settling in and I put it everywhere. This serum is so amazing. It feels so good on your skin. Maybe it's not the most sanitary thing that I use just my fingers for this, but I feel like there's like really no other way to apply this. So I like drench my face in this because it just feels so good. If you haven't used a serum before, I highly suggest this. It just feels so nice on the skin. It's I think it's really great for sensitive skin as well, so definitely check this out. So that's one of the steps that I use um, at night that I don't typically do in the morning 
I use it right after I use the toner because that's what you're supposed to do. If I go in with a face mask, I use the serum before the face mask because they say you use it to prep your skin for a mask. So then the third step that I do is a face oil. This is the newest thing that I've incorporated into my routine. This is the Josie Marin 100% Pure Argan Oil. I will describe it in just a second. So I take the dispenser and I drop about three to five drops onto my hand. But let's get real, I always use five drops because I always think that um, more is more when it comes to face care. So I just rub it in on my hands and then I rub it all over my face. So I'm not really rubbing too much. I'm just, you know, lightly tapping it into my face and that's what you're supposed to do. And yes, you are going to going you are going to look like a complete grease ball when you put on face oil, but I am telling you, it makes the hugest difference in your skin. Now, I'm in my late 20s. I'm 27 years old. I know people don't really believe that, but I am 27 years old. And um people say that a good basic face oil is good for women that are in their late 20s, early 30s, you're not really supposed to be using like 10 million face oils until like you're in your late 30s. But I find that this is a really amazing basic face oil. If you want to go for something that you're just starting to try out um, face oils, I would go with this. I got a sample of this in the 500 point perk kit. I fell in love with it so much that I went and purchased this size. And this is only $15. This is like the cheapest face oil I've ever come across. And then, of course, I lock everything in with my facial moisturizer, and this is the Lush Vanishing Cream. And it's a white base like this. I will read the description in a second for you, but I just take a little bit on my finger, and then I just dot it all over my face. Because this stuff goes a really long way. It's like a very, very moisturizing type of moisture. Like, I feel like it's very watery. So, it'll like just soak right into your skin. And you barely need any of it. And it'll just spread out onto your face and it'll feel so good. So, that is obviously the last step. I make sure I get everything. Basically, the, my favorite part of skincare is moisturizer. I just can't get enough of moisturizer because I have dry skin. So moisturizer obviously is extremely important with people with dry skin. It's important with for people with oily skin too, but dry skin, moisturizer is like your best friend, honestly. So that is everything that I do for my face. This is my second um, bot, uh, my second tub of the vanishing cream. It says, light as a feather, lavender moisturizer that disappears once applied, transforming areas and blemishes into beautiful, balanced skin. Now, if you guys noticed the similarities with my skincare, all of my Lush skincare has lavender in it. Um, they were kind of saying there at Lush that um, incorporating like the same ingredients into your face with different products, like, you know, with different steps of your skincare, I mean. They said that, that that's really good. So I was like, okay, why not just stick with the lavender? So the Angels on Bare Skin has, what is this? It says, a cleanser scent from above. Lavender evens out the skin tone while scrubby almonds give a healthy glow. So this is lavender and almonds in here. Then the aroma water obviously is lavender tonic. So this is lavender water. So I just use this and I love it. And then the vanishing cream is a light as a feather lavender moisturizer that disappears once applied, transforming oily areas and blemishes into beautiful balanced skin. Now this moisturizer is supposed to be for oily skin, but I feel like it is so hydrating that I decided to use it for dry skin. I know that people say that you're supposed to, you know, use dry, something for dry skin, you use it for dry skin, or something for oily skin, you use it for oily skin. But when I was asking the girls at Lush, they're like, you don't necessarily have to 
use things that are just for dry skin or just for oily skin. You can mix other things and sometimes the opposite works better for your skin. It's crazy, but they say like that's just the skin type that it's for. That doesn't mean you have to do that. You can always go in with something else. With something that's for oily skin, I mean. So yeah, so that is my skincare routine. And the prices of all of these, this one, the Angels and Bare Skin, this is $15. The bigger one is $20. I just purchased the bigger one because I had to get this one uh, before because they were out of the bigger one when I decided to purchase this. But I needed it because I was going to rent out like the next day. So I just decided to purchase a smaller one. This one, like I said, the Aroma Water is $9. The, um... Serum, the full gray serum is $20. And then the vanishing cream, uh, the argan oil, like I said, is $15. And then the vanishing cream is $40. Yes, the moisturizer is the most, but I feel like this is worth every single penny. Honestly, like, this sounds like a pretty cheap skincare routine, honestly. And this is really good skincare, I feel. Like, most skincare items are like $50 or $60 a piece for good skincare. On average. But 9 plus 15 is 23, plus 20 is 43, plus 15 is 53, 58 plus 40 is 98. So I think that's a pretty good price for five items of skincare. It's kind of a no-brainer. So yeah, that's what I do for my skincare, and now I'm going to get into some masks that I do if I decide to do a mask. I didn't do a mask tonight because I just decided I wanted to share my basic skincare routine that I do every single night rather than showing variations on it. So um, if I decide to do a mask before I go in with the rest of my skincare because you are supposed to use an exfoliator one to two times a week. I think it's two times a week, but um, I actually just recently started using face oils, serums, and exfoliators for my face. I never used an exfoliator before this, and then they say like how important an exfoliator is for you. Um, I don't have an actual exfoliator because they say masks are exfoliators as well, so I just stick with face masks, and these masks are incredibly cheap, and they're amazing. So the first one I have is obviously a Lush mask, and this one is the Cranberry Festive Face Mask. This says, treat yourself to a nourishing blend of cranberries, silken tofu, rose clay, and fresh fennel. May your skin be merry and bright. So this is their seasonal mask for the holidays, and this is what it looks like. It looks red because it's cranberry. And this is only $6.95. The Lush masks are only $6.95. Um, the only downfall to these is that they only last three weeks, so I think that's why they're so cheap is because they don't last too long, but they are so good. I usually get about six to seven uses out of them because I end up using them twice a week, obviously, so I get about six to seven uses out of them, and then after that, you have to throw it out. So, um, if I go in with a face mask first, I do the serum first, the full gray serum, then I go in with this. Then I go in with the toner, and then I go in with the face oil, and then I go in with the vanishing cream. So that is my skin routine when I do a face mask. So I do this about twice a week when I don't want something so deep cleaning. I just want something to really um, cleanse um, a little bit deeper. So I use this about twice a week. And then if I really want a super deep cleanse and I just want something to pull out all my blackheads, clear out all of my pores, I go with the Sephora Mud Mask Purifying and Mattifying. I saw this raved about on YouTube before, and they are saying that this is a straight up dupe for Glam Glow masks, and I've never tried Glam Glow before, but this is a fraction of the price. This is only $18, and I think that this mask is incredible, and I think you get twice the, the amount of product compared to a Glam Glow mask, and the and the Glam Glow masks are $70. So I'll take Sephora. Thank you very much. So this is what it looks like. I have used a lot of it since I've gotten it, as you can tell. I think I might actually use it up soon. Um, but this is amazing. I tend to use this 
um, about twice a week if I don't have a Lush mask, but now I always go back to go get those that I always have a Lush mask on hand. Um, but I think that this is amazing and it cleans out everything and it literally like, sorry, I have an itch, like, creates holes around where your blackheads are on your nose and pulls all of them out. So yeah, this is incredible. I definitely recommend this. I only use this about once a week though if I have the Lush mask. So yeah, those are the two face masks that I absolutely love. Um, and then I will get into some of my skincare routine. So I always put on a hand cream at night because I have eczema so my hands get extremely dry. And I always put on a hand cream anytime I wash my hands or when I wash my beauty blender at night. After this, I wash my beauty blender, brush my teeth, and then I put on a hand cream. But I'm just going to summarize which one I use. So I use the Clinique Deep Comfort Body Butter. This is like my holy grail body and hand moisturizer. It's just absolutely amazing. I just find that this is incredible. I've used so much of it, as you can tell. Um, I'm pretty much almost down to the bottom of it and I've been using it so much lately because I ran out of my travel sizes of both of these. I ran out of the body butter travel size and the dramatically different moisturizing lotion. I'm going to put on some now because my hands are feeling a little bit dry. So we're going to put on some now and I'm also going to put on some after I um, wash my hands after I, or well after I cleanse my beauty blender. So I'm just going to put that on now and I just obviously rub it all around my hands and I just hand cream is like my lifesaver because since I have eczema my hands can get dry so easily. So I do this and then I usually go in with my eczema ointment. It's a prescription ointment that I didn't feel like showing because you don't really have to see it and I'm not going to show you like me like applying ointment everywhere. But I apply ointment to my hands and to my legs because my legs are also very eczema prone. So yeah, that's what I put on my hands. And I already have like the oil from the argan oil on my hands too. So it's really good. And then sometimes I wash it off with water because my hands are pretty oily right now from the argan oil. So that's what I like using for my body. And then my other go-tos lately... So my favorite shower gel at this point, um, I did use up the um, Dream Wash from Lush and also the um, Happy Hippie one because my boyfriend gave me that one to use up because um, he had like an allergic reaction to it. My sister brought home this size of this shower gel and I fell in love with the scent so much that I decided to purchase my own. This is the Rose Jam Shower Gel. So this is the shower gel I'm using right now. I also did just purchase another shower smoothie from Lush and it's called the Icing on the Cake. And But that's like a bar so I didn't want to share that because it's too messy. But this smells so amazing. Honestly, go pick it up. This is a seasonal one but it smells so good. I did go more in depth with this in the haul that I just posted but it smells so freaking amazing. I love this scent so much. It's amazing. So that's what I go in with first, obviously, or I just use this at night. If I don't want to exfoliate or moisturize, I just use this. If I decide to exfoliate, which I've been exfoliating my skin twice a week now, I again, I've never had an exfoliator before this. I was using the Lush Sh Sugar Scrub before this, and then I fell in love with this brand, and now I use this. Um, so for this and my body moisturizer. I just use this brand. These are, these are like the only two non-lush products I'm using in this video besides my hair care that I'm going to show you. Um, this is the Flake Away Soap and Glory Shea Butter Sugar and Peach Seed Powder Spa Body Polish. I did mention this in my skincare favorites so I went in more in depth with that. I put this on after I do my body wash or Dove uh, soap because I always use Dove soap if I'm not using um, like a scented body gel or if my skin's feeling super sensitive, I just use the Dove soap. But then if I decide to exfoliate, I use this. It smells amazing. I love it. And this is a sea salt scrub. And this is probably one of the only sea salt, scalp, blah, 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 sea salt scrubs I can... <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me, sorry. This is probably only one of the sea salt scrubs I can use because my skin is so sensitive because I have eczema. But I find that I can use the sea salt scrub. That's why I mentioned that I use sugar scrubs because 
Sugar scrubs are much, much more sensitive for sensitive skin. I cannot talk anymore. And then for my body um, lotions of choice lately, again, these are both from Soap, Soap & Glory. This is the Soap & Glory Smoothie Star Lightly Whipped Body Buttercream. I've been using this like almost every time I use um, body moisturizer lately. I just feel like this is a little bit less heavy than the other one I'm going to talk about. But I love it. I put this on right after I get out of the shower. Like after I air dry my hair and um, put some conditioner. Like I'm going to show you the actual thing that I use in a second. But I put this on after I dry my hair and put my clothes on. I really love using this. And it smells amazing. I love it. It's a it's a whipped body butter, which I think is awesome. I feel like that's so good for my skin. It says a intensive five oil super nourishing formula with vanilla and coconut pistachio almond and sweet vanilla fragrance. Amazing on dry legs. Yes, it is. And then um, if I don't want to use that, I use this one. This is the Righteous Bite. The Righteous Butter Body Moisturizer. And it doesn't say, um, massage a handful of Righteous Butter onto damp skin until it sinks in. Okay, you're supposed to put this on damp skin. I just put it on dry skin. I don't think it really makes a difference. Um, because I just feel so weird putting it on damp skin. But this stuff smells so amazing. As you can tell, I've used, uh, quite a bit of it. I'm probably going to use it up after I use it probably two or three more times. I am trying to use it up though so I can stick it in, in the products I've used up video. But yeah, love it and it smells so good. And then um, the last thing I wanted to share with you. Actually, I have two things to share. Um, I wanted to share lips and uh, hair care. So after I wash my face, which I mean wash my face, wash my hair. I wash my hair probably once a week. I know that's bad. I probably should wash it twice a week. But I sometimes I only have time to wash it once a week, usually Monday nights because it's like the one night I have to relax. So that's why I washed it tonight. Um, but after that, I just put like one product in my hair. I really like using this Beauty Without Cruelty Premium Aromatherapy Leave-In Conditioner. Um, you just put it onto damp hair and you leave it in, obviously, to soak in. You don't just, you don't wash it out. Um, and I received this in an Ipsy Glam bag, and that was the only reason why I kept Ipsy for a while, was to receive hair care samples, and I did get to try a lot of hair care when I had it, but I just feel like the makeup wasn't that great in there for me to keep it. But yeah, I usually only end up putting one hair products into my hair and then if I decide to blow dry it which most of the time I don't because sometimes I'm just too lazy I just let it air dry and then I just put in a hairspray in my hair after that but typically I usually don't um usually when I wash my hair like this and let it air dry I'm working the next day so I just end up throwing it up in a ponytail and that's it so I really don't do too much to take care of my hair I wash it okay like it's the most important if you wash your hair and condition it. So I just put this in after and I really have been enjoying using that lately. I'm one of those girls that hates doing their hair. Like I hate it. Um, and then the last thing that I incorporate obviously is a lip mask or a chapstick. I always put this on at night before I go to bed. You're going to laugh at me because I actually really, really love these chapsticks. I think that they're really amazing even though people would think that they weren't. This is the Disney um, Rapunzel lipstick, a uh, lipstick, chapstick from uh, Hot Topic. I absolutely love this stuff. I use it every night when I don't, when I'm too lazy to use a lip mask. And it smells really, really good. And um, I also have the Sleeping Beauty one as well. And I like switching off between either one of those. The only thing about this is that I find if I use this after I use a liquid lipstick for the day, I do find that my lips are a little bit more dry the next day. So I haven't been using it as much lately because I've been wearing a lot of liquid lipsticks lately because I've been working through my Makeup Monsters lip liquid lipsticks this week. And I just found that it was drying out my lips too much when I was um, using this. So I've been using just my lip masks recently. 
Obviously, you guys know I love this. This is the Bite Beauty Agave Lip Mask. I am going to apply some right now just to show you. And I just apply it with my finger. And I just rub it on my lips. And it's just like amazing how much of a difference. Even if you just have chapstick, it makes a world of difference to dry skin and dry lips. If you put it on overnight, honestly, your skin is going to thank you. And your lips are going to thank you because this stuff is amazing. This is a little bit pricey. It's $20, but I find that it's worth every single penny because I use it every night. And I need it because um, I'm not putting anything else on my lips, obviously. And your lips just need just as much care as your face does. So you always want to use a lip mask or a chapstick. But if you just have chapstick, use chapstick. And then the other one that I've been really liking lately that I got from the Josie Marin, Josie Marin set. This is the Josie Marin Argan Infinity Lip and Cheek Creamy Oil. So this is like a lip oil, but it's tinted. And it's really nice on the lips as well because it has the Argan oil in it. So you can't really go wrong with that. So I've been really enjoying Josie Marin's products lately. And that is it. So please like and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram at CBW819 and my Twitter is Pocavisa 819 Obviously, Bite Beauty, you can find at Sephora, and yes, it's $20. Josie Marin as well is also at Sephora, and this is from Hot Topic. I don't know if I said that, but I absolutely love these lip balms. And yeah, that is pretty much it. Bye!